This is the Turf Zone Podcast, your central information and news hub, bringing together professionals from turf associations across multiple states to share things to help you in your business. Brought to you in partnership with our friends at the Mississippi Turfgrass Association. Now, let's get in the zone. Welcome to the Turf Zone. In this episode of Mississippi Turfgrass, we feature an alumni spotlight on Aaron Tucker. Mississippi Turfgrass Association is made up of a wide range of turfgrass professionals across the state and beyond. Each of our members brings knowledge and skills to help improve our association and our industry. In this issue, we're highlighting a Mississippi native graduate of the MSU Turf Program who is now pursuing his Ph.D. in plant pathology at Virginia Tech. Aaron Tucker attended high school in Carthage, Mississippi at Leak Central. There, Aaron was heavily involved in the agriculture program. After graduating, Aaron earned his associate's degree in golf at East Central Community College, where he played golf. In high school, I learned to play golf, but my father is an ag teacher, and I've always grown up around agricultural-related things. He showed cows. My brother wound up becoming a vet. I'm curious, so I like science. I didn't want to teach golf for a living, so I looked for an avenue that would encompass both golf and agriculture, and turf grass is right down that alley. So I chose to go into turf grass at MSU, and I've been fortunate to be provided certain opportunities along that journey, Aaron says. When making the decision on where to continue his education after his associate's degree, there were several factors for Aaron. Mississippi State is one of those places that has a rich tradition in our family, but also oftentimes you tell folks when it comes to your career path, Choose what you love and let the rest fall into place. Little did I know, MSU offers one of the best turf grass programs across the country. Some places, when you're applying for a superintendent position at a golf course, if your resume has Mississippi State on it, you're one of the top of the list. I really enjoyed the idea of being a student at MSU, but also there's a reputation that comes with their turf program that offers opportunity within the industry. Aaron earned his Bachelor's of Science in Agronomy in the field of golf and sports turf management, and then began to work on his master's degree, honing his area of interest in plant pathology. As he was finishing his undergrad degree, Aaron was offered the opportunity to do research with Christian Baldwin, then an MSU professor, focusing on plant physiology. This opportunity planted the seed of pursuing further study in turf pathology. Turf pathology made sense naturally, Aaron says, so I reached out to Dr. Peterson since there are a lot of plant interactions that happen in turf pathology between plants and fungi, etc. She already had an idea in mind for research, so we just went with it. Upon finishing his master's degree at MSU, Aaron had an opportunity to pursue his PhD with plant pathologist Dr. David McCall at Virginia Tech. After meeting at an ASA conference years earlier, the two stayed in touch. Dave is good at getting funding for his lab group. The lab was one person at the time I met Dave, now there are five. We've got plenty of bodies that do field research and trials that help with those grants. One element of working in Dr. McCall's lab that interested Aaron was extension work. He'd previously not been exposed to that aspect and that was another element that influenced his choice to pursue his Ph.D. through Virginia Tech. Aaron's long-term goal is to work in academia. He will soon begin his instructional duties. I believe that being able to educate is paramount, and if you do it in the right way, then you don't have to do it twice, he says. I'm looking forward to the experience of being a T.A. and being able to assist. His father's 30-plus years as a teacher and FFA advisor certainly will have an influence on Aaron's teaching style. It's hard not to. I've got some of him in me. He's very patient. I feel like that's a very important part of teaching. Put the knowledge out there and be patient in the learning process. The typical timeline for finishing a doctorate is three to four years, although the delays created by COVID may alter that timeline somewhat for Aaron. After he finishes, he says, I'm a Southern boy, so I'd like to get back there, but I'll go where the opportunities are. 
It's got to put food on the table. That will certainly be important for Aaron's growing family. He and his wife, Emily, welcomed their first child, Elliot, in 2020. Aaron says in his free time, he enjoys spending time with Emily and Elliot and occasionally finding time to golf or even fish with his father. MTA wishes Aaron success as he pursues his Ph.D., and we are proud to see our MSU graduates advancing our industry. Don't miss an episode of Mississippi Turfgrass. Subscribe at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at theturfzone.com. You've been listening to The Turf Zone. For more episodes of The Turf Zone, visit theturfzone.com and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app.